He shielded the pilot embedded systems architecture for multi-layer dependable solutions is an EU Artemis project. It addresses security, privacy and dependability in the context of embedded systems as built-in functionality. This demonstration is one out of the four pilots being developed in the project. Of monitoring freight trains uh, against uh, threats. Uh, you know that uh, there has been a, a, an important uh, serious accident uh, uh, in Italy, in Viareggio, uh, invol involving a train transporting hazardous materials. There are many trains transporting uh, various kinds of uh, flammable or hazardous materials. And so the issue is, uh, is very relevant, but uh, so far there is uh, no solution to, to such an issue because uh, uh, the customer requires low cost, uh, easy to maintain and reliable monitoring systems that, that the present technology is not, uh, uh, is not uh, yet uh, uh, able to provide. So we are uh, uh, moving a step uh, toward the solution to such an issue, and uh, what we did uh, in the, in the, in in this shield was to uh, study uh, besides the other analysis that have been uh, provided by the other partners in other work packages, uh, we studied the, the uh, local uh, uh, network issues uh, in uh, combining uh, wireless sensor heterogeneous uh, wireless sensor networks uh, to install on a real freight car. Uh, so the experimentation was divided into two parts. The first part is almost uh, uh, finished. Brands, we integrated uh, uh, those sensors uh, using uh, 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 ad hoc middleware. The second part of the experimentation uh, will be performed on a real car, uh, with which is uh, already available and parked uh, in uh, uh, a train movement station, which is Roma's Mistamento. So we already have uh, uh, an agreement with the Italian Railway Authority, RFAE and uh, Trenitalia to use this car for a real uh, experimentation. So yeah, we have to install those sensors on the car and monitoring, uh, and monitor the car while it is moving. So uh, basically the architecture of the test bed will be made up by uh, four sensors, uh, two master nodes, a host application and also uh, GPS uh, sensors. Uh, we are not considering for now the communication, the wireless communication in the uh, wide area network uh, because it is covered uh, already by the part uh, of the Teleron, mm -hmm. Teleron object. So uh, concentrating uh, on the sensor <laughs> network, uh, we can see that uh, the system, the monitoring system can be divided into uh, four different uh, layers. The physical uh, layer which uh, uh, is located on the node and on, on the local elaboration of the node, the transport layer, which involves the communication among the nodes and also among the nodes and the master node, and this distributed application layer that uh, regards data integration, possibly reasoning, reasoning and the uh, user uh, interface, so the monitoring application. Uh, so uh, the novelty of this approach is the usage of uh, mediator or upper uh, paradigm, so uh, the application requests information uh, to the different sensor networks uh, and uh, this uh, mediator provides queries to the uh, wrappers. The wrapper uh, translates the queries in a format which is uh, uh, specific for the wireless sensor network that is used. So you can have even two different sensor networks on the same car or on several cars. And uh, this, this responds to the requirement of the customer to have uh, uh, an easy to deploy system. So they buy the sensors, install the software, install on the car, and it, uh, it configures automatically, regardless of the uh, brand, the brand uh, of the, of the uh, mode, so the sensor node. So uh, we uh, focused on the uh, crypto system because one of the major requirements is that the communication must be secure. You cannot use uh, a monitoring system like this in railways uh, we, uh, using a, an open network because a wireless network is an open network uh, if the, si the communication is not secure. 
So we implemented the cryptographic uh, system to authenticate nodes and to uh, um, and to uh, use cryptography in the communication uh, between nodes using public key uh, cryptography. And uh, since it is, uh, uh, you know that uh, asymmetric cryptography is uh, quite heavy for <coughs> the elaboration uh, by uh, embedded systems so that are cheap, very cheap, <laughs> so the CPUs are not very powerful. The, one of the major issues uh, uh, that uh, we tried to, uh, to give an answer to was uh, are those nodes able to uh, uh, to elaborate uh, those crypt cryptographic algorithms. And so is, is uh, the application feasible? Mm -hmm. And the feasibility study uh, uh, led to uh, uh, results that uh, are acceptable since uh, uh, we can see from this graph that uh, the uh, elaboration time, elaboration and transmission time within the sensor network increases from less than one second to a few seconds. That is an increase which is not uh, the ne cannot be neglected, but it is acceptable acceptable in the context of railway monitoring because you know that even with signaling systems you can tolerate uh, a blackout. Let's let's see of uh, some seconds. You know that in the high speed railways uh, the TN will contact parameter that expresses the the time that uh, the control system. Uh, uh, cannot see a train because there is uh, a radio hole <coughs> is, uh, is uh, uh, now seven seconds. So we are below seven seconds because we are around four seconds. And this is uh, furthermore not a safety critical application by itself. It is a monitor application, so it's just an, an indirectly safety critical. And also the memory occupation of uh, the uh, cryptographic algorithms is uh, uh, of course uh, higher uh, with respect to the memory uh, occupation of uh, the uh, normal software, uh, but uh, it is uh, perfectly compliant with the hardware of uh, commercial off-the-shelf sensors. Okay.